it's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing street photography with a film camera. Recently I purchased the Canon A1. I took it out to the streets of Fullerton and here I am walking around looking for things to test this camera on. And the first corner I come around I see a classic vintage car. It looks like it's from the 50s. And so I fire off a shot right there of it on the street. But as I approach it, I notice the interesting, the body texture, the paint. Um, it's got a great um, patina as a word uh, feels like. It's kind of got this worn, polished look. And I like the interior and the way the sun's coming through. So I look around for the owner and I don't want to be too creepy, but I fire off a shot of the interior of the car. And this is one of my favorite shots. I'm shooting um, Kodak Ultramax 400. And uh, so then I make my way down to a major intersection. And it was right here where I noticed that the shutter button wouldn't go off. I wanted to get the ambulance coming across the intersection, but it was unreliable. And I, I started to kind of puzzle over that. And here's uh, some shoes that are red and there's a lot of red things in this window, but the shoes attracted my attention and I had some trouble getting that, that shot off. But when I did, I really love how it came out with the bokeh and the reflection. The 50 millimeter uh, FD 1.8 lens is great. So here's another example. I have a gentleman running down the street and I turn and I try to sh fire, try to fire, try to fire. And it takes it a while to, to actually click off. So about halfway through um, this um, tour around a couple of blocks, I started to get really frustrated. And then here I was trying to get the shadow on the wall and kind of a little depth of field uh, as the uh, the building kind of recedes towards the horizon. There's some furniture set down there on the sidewalk and I had a cool idea for a composition and I just struggled to get the camera firing. And what I finally figured out is that the battery was low in the camera and the battery actually needed to be replaced and it was kind of taking a while for the camera to charge back up so it could fire off another shot. Um, so after I figured that out, which was post um, this uh, street photography session, um, I was able to order batteries and um, I'm going to do a video on how to replace those. But I wandered into a uh, Hoppa Cupcakes place and just asked if I could take some photos. Really pleased with how these came out. I just think that it's an interesting composition with the glass and some of the reflections and the bokeh and just the depth of field and really pleased with, with this uh, camera and the uh, the way the film looks, the colors, and also just the combination of the lens. Really, really gorgeous to me. So, all right, we're about halfway through the tour. I went next door. There's a coffee shop, fired off a shot of these water bottles. And it was interesting. They had plexiglass in front of them, and so it caught some of the reflection there on the left. Uh, all these shots had, uh, or a lot of these shots had some interesting reflections. And here's the gentleman behind. I asked if I could take his portrait. And he was a little hesitant. And then we started just connecting and talking about film cameras. And he shoots film, and uh, we traded Instagram. Uh, and he said he would he would model. So I said, don't move around too much. I, I actually, <laughs> I'm new at this, trying to get the focus uh, manually. And so he did pose, and uh, I actually the shot went off when I lowered the camera and that's something I've since figured out it's the battery um, but then we just connected and his co-worker came over and we traded uh, social media so we could connect um, so that was a, a very cool part of being out and about in the city of Fullerton and uh, so yeah so then I just wandered on and looked for other subjects to test I wanted to get some outdoor shots in the bright sunlight uh, everything I'm shooting here, I'm using the light meter from inside the camera. And basically it was pretty consistent. It was telling me 1 over 2 50th for shutter speed and to have the lens all the way open at f1.8. And so as I walked around looking for interesting compositions, I noticed this uh, wrought iron fence and the texture of the greenery coming through it and the sun behind it kind of backlighting. So I tried a couple of those shots, but I, I didn't get the composition exactly as I wanted. Uh, the camera actually fires after I put it down, which happened over and over again. Um, and again, that was the battery issue. Um, and then there was uh, another composition just looking at the sign down to the left and kind of looking uh, for that depth of field with the, uh, the wrought iron fence and the sign and the greenery. And that one's nice, not the best composition, but I like how the, the elements of the shot. And here are a couple receding down the alley. Kind of cool street photography moment, and I just couldn't get the camera to fire. Again, that was the battery issue. 
Uh, but we are wrapping up. These are the last couple of moments. I came around this street and I saw these tables set out in the middle um, for outdoor seating. And I just loved how the sunlight played a, a, along the uh, tops, the light color tops and the dark um, chairs here. And so I got uh, a portrait orientation shot off right here. Um, I really like that one. Cropped in, it's not as good, but I like the vertical orientation. And then there was a couple eating across the way. And again, I shot this one from the waist, I think, is when the actual shot went off, but it was okay. I noticed that if anything was over kind of 20 or 30 feet away, uh, as long as I had the focal, like, focus to infinity, I would get a pretty decent in-focus shot. So I'll keep that in mind for the future of street photography with the Canon A1. And then as I uh, left the area and walked, there's a guy I said hi to uh, coming around the corner here. I think he was interested in me taking pictures, um, but then this motorcycle caught my attention. I love the red background, super sharp. This was actually one of the sharpest photos and I really liked how that turned out. And then I just headed back to the car and that, that was it. So I was really happy with these shots. I'm gonna put up my top five. Please comment and tell me your top shot for this uh, film street photography outing. All right. Thank you for joining me. Hit subscribe if you're interested in content like this. Give me a like if you've liked any part of this video, and I'll see you in the next video.